Denver mayor's office will consider turning a former elementary school building into a temporary shelter for migrants. And Channel 2's Kasha Carriage takes a deeper dive into the proposal and gets reaction from neighbors. Neighbors in this area thought they were living next to a school, but the city says this former elementary campus could be used for something else. Oh, it's quiet, very quiet. Denver Public Schools says this now vacant building used to be Rocky Mountain Prep Sunnyside. The students from there are now at another school. It's a, it's a good neighborhood, and then there's a lot of uh, construction being uh, happening here with uh, new homes and all that. The city says Denver has received very few migrants in the last two months and often has no one in their shelter at all, but they are always planning ahead. I don't know about the temporary. It sounds more like it's going to be permanent. According to the city's newcomer playbook, since December 2022, Denver has assisted over 40,000 migrants from the southern border. The city says only about 150 migrants arrived in August, and Texas has not sent a bus since early June. But neighbors are concerned. I don't think it's a good idea for the neighborhood, for us. I mean, because the value of all these homes and all that, they're going to go down. I know that. But there's no contract or deal in place to use it at this time. The mayor's office tells me they will work with neighbors to address concerns before any decisions are made. Reporting in Denver, Kasha Carriage, 2 Prime News.